came from uh, a hobby to a passion. Coffee helps you to slow down, helps you to think, mm -hmm. helps you to capture moments. Of... Hi, I'm Dylan. Hi, I'm Terry. Hi, I'm Chikara. And together, we are We're the on the on the 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 uh, for me, what inspired me is because uh, personally, I love art scene a lot. So I've been trying out uh, various different genres in art. But uh, I, it feels, I feel that uh, uh, photography is the only thing that actually keeps me passionate. And um, it's a really nice thing to do as a hobby. Yeah. Uh, for me, I'm sure I'm not an art person. But it's because that I want to learn something re related to art because yeah, I want to try something new. And then after that, my dad last time he shot. So actually, he got his own SLR. And when he first is bought the DSLR, actually I played around with it and experience. And I found out that I love photography. Mm. Uh, being uh, intrigued by the arts related scene, I find photography has a creative outlet to express my ideas and opinions. Um, the more we learn, the more we find out that, hey, it's something very interesting. It's not, so, it's not like the everyday. Uh, thing that you do where you just basically let's say working for example compare an office job to photography it's a totally different thing and photography is way more interesting so after a while all these things builds up and uh, and change from a hobby to a passion itself yeah like what I say because the job the 9 to 5 right offer so little but with photography right actually I really opened my eyes and I experienced a lot of things like just fun things that I never seen before um, because I can see myself uh, doing it day in day out, every day, uh, even though it means I have to lose my sleep, uh, I always feel that it's always worth it. And then the returns that I get from it is way higher. Also, there's a way bigger satisfaction level compared to normal jobs. Yeah. What's the question again? <laughs> What's the question again? <laughs> okay. So, you know that last time, actually, I have a company that started back then when I was in SEC 5. It was actually with my so-called brother uh -huh. back then and it didn't start out it didn't turn out well. So actually we went our separate way. And I lost the passion in photography for about one year when I was in Bali because I really joined a lot of camps and I didn't really shoot much. Until I met Tiawe, my partner. So actually what drives me now is both of them. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like. It's to receive recognition for our company. Yeah, and then also uh, our client, client base. Although we are budding photographers, but they trust us with our work. And also uh, the passion for photography. Um, okay, for Dylan, I met him through uh, secondary school. It was because we were classmates at the same time, also basketball teammates. So uh, I've always been close to him. Uh, so we actually started our photography around the same time. Yeah, so we became closer lah, because of photography. Yeah. For the, uh, Chikara, I actually met him through my poly. Uh, although not in actually really meeting him in poly, or rather meeting him at a club. So it was quite interesting. Uh, when I first found out that he actually does photography, it was quite a shocking thing. And yeah, and we click once we know that we do, we each do photography. As an onlooker, right? An onlooker is basically uh, someone who stands by to observe uh, the events, the happenings. So as uh, onlookers, we observe moments and we capture them. Yeah, so we provide the best moments that we have observed to our clients. <laughs> uh, it's been good working with them because, uh, let's say for Dylan, he's always punctual and he's always really, really fun to work with. Um, the only thing that he will keep asking me questions, hi, how do this, how, how do that, which is a little bit frustrating, especially when I'm trying to get the shot. <laughs> uh, for him, um, for him, it's the only thing, the only two things that it's a bit troublesome is that, firstly, he's never punctual for a shoot. He's always late, and then be like, hey, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Then, secondly, and the first thing when he arrives, right, it's like, hey, there's buffet, shall we eat first? <laughs> Yeah. Ayah, no mind lah. Food is important lah. Quite lah, it's quite important for our survival. So for you, like how do you like working with them? For me, it's fun. Uh, working with Tiawei, right? Because both of us has been doing events for like quite some time lah. So he got the how to say? He's really know what to do, and 
we just okay say I want to do this and I want to do that. So we go our separate way, but then end up we will cover the whole event. Like we work hand in hand very well. As for Dylan, right, because he's still <laughs> learning in learning process. So like what Jia we said earlier, actually he will ask me questions also, and at the same time he also will learn from me. Yeah. Hi, we are the all guests. Catch us on Cash Online. <laughs>